hands. What's going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to another channel of Outdoor Adventures with Nicole and my extension, little baby Oshalyn. She is taking a little nap right now. We just got back from church. She got a little dress on and this cute little baby's first Christmas. So today guys, as you can tell, I have my tree behind me. We went and I've got half the lights on there. We went and uh, cut this tree down actually at a local farm, tree farm around here and picked out the one we wanted, right size and everything. And I don't know if you guys like tuned in last year, but I decorated my tree and I last minute like got a bunch of stuff because it was, it was last minute when I got it last year. So this year I'm a little more prepared. Um, we got the tree the day after Thanksgiving and so it's been about a, about a week or a little over a week. And I've been collecting just a couple more things. I'm just gonna show you guys and tune in here. So this is some of the stuff from last year in this box here. Um, she is new, she's new, but I, I had this topper, which was a um, snowman topper. I kind of added that little gold thing to it. So my theme is um, white with gold. And I'm gonna add, you know, like pearls. And there's some oyster shells that I had found. I found a new tree skirt. Um, but yeah, this is some of the ornaments from last year. These are actually um, real glass or ornaments. And then there's just a lot of stuff up underneath here. See all the gold and white. So I'm pretty excited about pulling out. Look, there's a little starfish over there. And some pearls down there and a um, seashell. So I, I had the theme going on last year, but it's just going to be a little more intense. And I found a beautiful angel that I couldn't find last year. And then here is some new stuff that I've picked up. So I just got some of these uh, poinsettias. I got red and gold. Here's some little things that you stick in the tree. Gold and white. Oh yeah, I got white pen poinsettias to put in there too. Um, these little gold things that you just kind of stick in there. Here's some more pretty stuff and sparkles. I thought these were kind of neat. And I got some pine cones. Um, oh yeah, look, I got my nails done too. How cute. So I did all red and then the the, the fourth one I did um, the, the pretty white with the sparkle. But anyways, the pine cones, I am going to probably spray paint with like a gold shimmer or gold sparkle. I found these at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of the two, and putting those. But, and then I found that really cute pillow with seahorses on it and just some extra bulbs here and there. And I'm also going to do, so she is just sleeping away over here. Sleeping little beauty. Um, so I did Papa Bear, and then over here I got Mama Bear, and then I've got some Baby Bear. I'll have to go get them. They're in the other room, but, and then I also got us all matching outfits. So there's hers, and ours is right there. So that is gonna be a lot of fun, getting some cute pictures with that. So let's go ahead and start decorating this beautiful Christmas tree. Okay, and when I was in Venice last week, this was just one of the fun finds, an old book that I, a journal that I had started writing in and I had wrote this, which I wanna share with you guys. Here's a friendly reminder when people are triggered by you for being too much, for going against what society says and being your complete self. It says more about their insecurities and lacking self-worth, meaning they need to take a good, huge look in the mirror. Keep showing up, keep shining, keep reminding to care, care your values to, I'm sorry, keep reminding to your care values, keep smiling Keep sharing your story. Keep using your message to inspire others. To attract more blessings that 
life has to offer, you must truly appreciate what you already have. Good things come to good people. What you think you'd become, so think positive. Happiness is truly an attitude. It's not strength. It's per perception that makes you stronger. If you change how you see it, you'll change how you feel about it. Just a little friendly reminder <laughs> there. And also, what I really like about this book is it has some scriptures in it. <clears throat> I'll just read that real quick. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not the harm you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future jeremiah 29 11. break. <laughs> Ooh, and they're nice and warm. <laughs> Say thank you, Titi. <laughs> Santa Titi. What's your favorite cookies? Mine are chocolate chip. But if y'all have any home recipes, comment below some of the of your grandma or great grandma's recipes. I love chocolate chip cookies. You are a chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. My nickname was uh, Cookie Monster growing up. <laughs> have a huge raccoon that's been eating the cat food at night. I mean huge. He's like Mac Daddy of Mac Daddies. <sighs> that's a new one. And then look at this. So these are new ones that I found this year. It's a pretty little shell. And then a little nut pepper. It's clear with the gold.
you guys. I just finished my Christmas tree. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button to follow more Outdoor Adventures with Nicole. And of course, little baby, Oshalene. Conked out before it was done. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.